Hi guys, today I'm here to share the new journal collection. So this is the Jane Austen Penmanship Party collection and it kind of came about because uh, I was kind of, I really wanted to do the party collection and then um, I got a few comments about Jane Austen which was really lovely so I thought what kind of party would she have and it would be, I would think it would be a penmanship party so I really wanted to do that as the collection and as you can see it's turned out so beautifully. So I'm going to go through and show you what I've done and hopefully um, you know and these will be available in the Etsy shop today but hopefully you can also be inspired if you want to make one the printables are in the shop as well so you know if you miss out on one of these you can still make something like this. And as you can see, it's filled with uh, all kinds of silks and ruffles and really beautiful things. So we have like little bits of uh, crocheted angora and mohair and uh, boucle yarn. But let's start with the size. So this is an A5. It's actually probably a little bit larger than A5. And it actually has three inch rings. So you can see here that um, this is a large standard size notebook, so the regular uh, Traveller's Notebook or Midori and then these are the A6 version, so these are the um, sizes that I usually create for the shop and this is an A5, so this is the largest that I've ever created and um, so you can see there the A6 on the right, the A5 is what I made and then this is uh, ring bound so it's held together by two three inch rings and they're actually very sturdy I'll show you later on in the video so but the front cover is a biodegradable piece of acetate so it's not very thick because of that but you can change that out if you want to so the antique lace and velvet ribbon on there I've just stapled on and you could just easily take that off and transfer it you can see there the boucle yarn the velvet uh, ribbons and the silk ribbons and the crocheted angora and everything like that on the uh, rings. And so as usual, I have the pearlescent papers, the cotton papers, the cotton vellum and all the beautiful, you know, papers inside. So that is the front cover. I didn't want to actually uh, make it a pocket, so I'll leave that up to you. But you can see this um, first page is a pocket and I've created enough pages here so that if you want to do December daily in it you can uh, do something like that you can add pages as well so you can see how sturdy that is it's not going to sort of uh, wobble when you open it it's just going to stay firmly where it is and you can easily get the pages in and out so this is the kind of invitation so this is also a printable in the shop it's the invitation printable and uh, I've just clipped that on. You can see that you can fold this all up and uh, write in it. But like say you were using this for December daily, you could write your intentions on here or just a special little note or something. And then there is a holographic leather uh, tab. And I'm just showing you there. So a couple of things. So there'll be five of these available and a couple of things will be different. So that paper will be one of them. They'll either be bronze, gold or silver. Uh, and m pretty much everything is the same. Just a couple of small differences. So I really love this page. So we have the beautiful print on the left. And again, you can fold these pages any way you like. And you can see there that I've put the paper, the sort of metallic um, reinforcement stickers on you know one side of each page and then we have this absolutely gorgeous piece of blush cotton paper so I really love it with the deckled edges and this silk so you can see there it's very barely blush it's a really beautiful color you can see it against the white there so again this next page is a printable in the shop and it is combined with the diamond printable on the back. So I have a pack of sort of square dotted and diamond paper in there. So I printed that on the back and I really love it. And you can see again that you can fold these, you know, anyway. And then uh, this is a really beautiful sort of smoky gray pearlescent paper. And I have embossed it with, or not necessarily embossed it, but 
um, texture paste and glitter so it is really beautiful I'm not sure that the camera can really capture how nice it is and then in I've made that a pocket as well so inside the pocket there's a little um, original painting a little floral and uh, so you can see they just uh, pop in and then come out of that paper if you want to move them around or switch that out for a photo or something and so again there are five different um, paintings that will be you know in the different journals and I'll explain a little bit more about that later but um, yeah so we have some labels there and this is a piece of vellum so it's very thin but I folded it and I sort of double folded it and reinforced the spine part there so that would be you know sturdy and then we have some of my favorite aged ledger paper so I have a full tutorial video on the channel about this paper I absolutely love it so I love making it I love using it and you can see the hinge there is also a little pocket but um, yeah you can put photos on there you can write on there and then here we have uh, another printable backed with the diamonds I just wanted this to feel really beautiful and you know considering the year we've had just feel like it's in another time and so again there was a little um, piece of rose gold foiled paper from Michaels I believe and this I love as well so this is silk velvet and the handmade cotton paper so with the decal edge it's so beautiful and then again another little uh, tab and then this almost reminds me of a fan so this is silk jupion and it's on a canvas paper so I've made that a pocket I believe and I apologize if you can hear the mowing in the background I'm just not getting a break so um, it's Saturday and so everyone's just out and about really love creating these little pockets through the journal so that you can slip in extra ephemera or little special memories and again this is another sort of aged paper from that tutorial in a, just a different color and here we have a snowflake that's a crochet from mohair it's really beautiful now this page is a full page of the Strathmore. It's my favorite sketching pad from them. So it's a thicker sketching paper and I've just used the whole page and folded it up and made a pocket here and a really nice flip out. So it would be really nice to do all kinds of things, but I have um, put this vellum printable again. This is from the shop and you can, uh, you know, pop that in the pocket, but I've just sort of, uh, for, um, paper clipped it there so that you can kind of see that the really nice thing about this is that you can uh, move all these pages around you can add in pages and you know make it really special and uniquely you and you know obviously I wanted it to feel sumptuous and feel like you have had a party so like you know just being in the journal and using the journal is a sort of a special um, little party and again you can make one of these as well from the printables so um, everyone will also get uh, one of either of those two pencils the little pencil in the pocket there and a different pocket the colors of the pocket there and that's from special bulky yarn or art yarns and then again a pearlescent page that I believe I made a pocket and then here I have just put in a little um, so some little bits of the silk velvet and the silk jupion and just uh, put that uh, sort of attached it there uh, and you can use that to make extra ruffles there's also a piece of this beautiful neon pink um, and you could use that to make a pocket or something else then we have some craft paper and some of the lightweight Somerset cotton this is one of my favorite papers and again some fabric samples and again this beautiful um, smoky lavender with the texture paste and the glitter so I really love uh, using all these kind of different papers and different textures and you can see that these are so I put four cotton ivory thick cotton paper in a row because I thought there might be either a trip you're going on or something that you want to kind of um, use to unify through in the journal 
like a particular story or something but this is my favorite heavyweight somerset cotton paper this is what i'm painting a lot on lately and then again we have some of this uh, smoky lavender pearlescent paper and this beautiful uh you know aged sort of distressed textured paper that i made and then we have the back cover which is a pearlescent cardstock so it's pretty thick but i folded it in half and i have hand embroidered across the bottom or just hand stitched across the bottom and then i left it open so that you can tuck any ephemera that you kind of are using or wanting to work with in the journal back in that back pocket and just carry it with the journal i thought that would be quite nice so i think that is everything uh, this is probably the quickest journal flip through i've ever done um, i am off to uh, put these in the etsy shop as soon as i have uploaded this to youtube and let me see so just to cut down on work and because they all are basically um, similar so i haven't finished putting them together yet uh you know i've got everything ready to put them all together but my shipping in my shop i always say one to two weeks just depending on what happens and i want these to be out to you so you can use them for december daily if you want to so i'm going to upload them today uh, and still get them out in the one to two weeks for you from t you know from now uh, so I just have to sort of assemble everything at this point so but I'm going to just put one listing on with five available so like I said they're all going to be pretty similar except for a few minor differences so if you did want um, a particular painting or pocket just let me know and it'll just be you know first come first served if I can uh, get that to you you can see as well I'm trying to show you how beautifully here the like when you pick it up all the little ribbons and um, yarn it's really beautiful the movement so I think that is everything about the journal and then I just wanted to also mention my sister so she is starting an Etsy and a YouTube pretty soon we are going to do some collabs um, and she made this painting to sort of go along with the collection and so I'm going to put this in my Etsy as well she will have more of these kind of abstracts available over on her Etsy probably next week so you can see all the gorgeous textures here as well in her painting and uh, I think that is everything guys so I will hopefully see you later on next week and I hope you enjoyed the flip through and I will see you soon bye